UPL, uh, which is a leading global generics agrochemical company in 126 countries. UPL has always been committed to social endeavors, whether it was my parents setting up the first school in Wapi, to the nursing college, to the chemical engineering college, to various toilet sanitation projects, to various women empowerment, women development projects. Sustainability is a key part of uh, our, our uh, ethos. Uh, giving back to society is uh, one of the most exciting parts of our business uh, and uh, we uh, as a family have been doing it for, for many generations and we will continue to do that. The Saras Crane project was a ignored project in India because people don't appreciate the beauty, the elegance of the Saras Crane that it is indigenous to India and the breeding grounds are very very close in our own Gujarat. The Saras Crane has elicited interest right from historical times in India. The second chapter of the famous Indian epic Ramayana begins with author Valmiki's observations of a hunter killing one of a pair of Kronka and its mate giving a heart-rending distress call. For a long time, the identity of the bird was in doubt and different opinions, ranging from curlews to herons to cranes, have been given in literature. Recent investigations have proven beyond doubt that Kronka was indeed the Saras crane. The Mughal Emperor Jehangir recorded some extremely useful and interesting notes concerning the breeding habits of Saras, from pairing onwards to the time the young are hatched. Buddhist scriptures also talk about an incident of a Saras crane hunt observed by Gautam Buddha in Lumbini. At UPL Limited, nature conservation is an important focus area for us, just like sustainable livelihood. We are implementing nature conservation project through umbrella project called UPL Vasuda. Vasuda is a Sanskrit word for mother nature and we are implementing this project with an idea to create awareness by involving community at all stages of the project. We have four major initiatives under UPL Vasuda. The first one is Saras conservation, the second one is social forestry, the third one is eco club and the fourth one is green Ganesha workshop. In and all, the whole idea is to create awareness at a mass level by involving community at all stages of the project. The project started in year 2015 with a major objective to assess SARS distribution, monitoring and habitat availability and the preference and threat to the SARS and to raise awareness in the masses for the long term conservation of the SARS train in Kheda district. This documentary is created as a part of this project to explain the ecology and life cycle of this magnificent crane species and the conservation efforts being made to safeguard its population in Gujarat. The Saras crane, the tallest flying bird in the world, is fighting a battle of survival against an ever-changing world of human needs. This crane is listed as vulnerable by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature because it has suffered a rapid population decline, which is projected to continue. Major reasons for this decline are widespread reductions in the extent and quality of its wetland habitat, the construction of linear structures like high voltage electric wires around its feeding, breeding and roosting areas, egg stealing, feral dogs and pigs, besides its natural predators. 
The total world population of Sarus cranes, Grus antigone, is estimated at 15,000 to 20,000 individuals. The current range of the Indian Sarus crane includes the plains of northern, northwestern and western India and the western half of Nepal's Terai lowlands. Small numbers are also observed in Pakistan. The eastern Sarus crane formerly occurred throughout Indochina. Over the last 50 years it has been decimated throughout this range, but still occurs in smaller numbers in Myanmar, Vietnam and Cambodia. The Australian Sarus crane occurs in northeastern Australia. India is the main stronghold for the remaining population of this species. This is the tallest crane species, standing at 5 feet, with a wingspan of 6 feet. The body plumage is light grey. The crown is covered with smooth greyish skin. The rest of the head, throat and upper neck are covered with rough red skin. The ears are covered by a small area of greyish white feathers on each side of the face. Long black hair-like bristles cover part of the upper throat and neck. In the Indian sarus, white feathers form a collar between the bare reddish skin of the upper neck and the grey feathers of the lower neck. The legs and toes are a shade of red. Males and females are virtually indistinguishable, but within pairs, the females are usually smaller than the males. Indian sarus cranes utilize a wide variety of landscapes, depending on food availability, cropping patterns and other seasonal factors. Their optimal habitat includes a combination of small seasonal marshes, floodplains, human-altered ponds, fallow and cultivated lands and rice paddies. The species is increasingly forced to use suboptimal rice paddies as breeding habitat because of the deterioration and destruction of its natural wetland habitat. They are mostly non-migratory and have adapted to the dense human population. They interact closely with people in areas where traditions of tolerance prevail. Studies have indicated that the number of Sarus in India has declined sharply and its distribution range has shrunk considerably over the years. Major populations are now restricted to a belt comprising the eastern and central Gujarat, southeastern Rajasthan and central, southwestern and eastern Uttar Pradesh. Gujarat, the westernmost state of India, holds amongst the best populations of these magnificent cranes. Kheda, Anand, Mahesana and Ahmedabad districts are the most important areas for the Saras population of Gujarat. An abundance of inland wetlands and agricultural fields growing rice and wheat dotted with marshes and grasslands make these areas an ideal habitat for Saras cranes. Saras cranes feed on aquatic plants such as tubers of sedges, invertebrates, grains, small vertebrates and insects. During summer, just before the breeding season, they congregate in huge numbers. Hundreds of sarus cranes can be seen together in wetlands and agricultural fields during the summer congregation. During this time, pairs of sarus cranes show extensive breeding displays. The breeding season begins in early monsoon and lasts from July to late September or early October. In Gujarat, the majority of the nests are built in paddy fields, mainly on small buns in agricultural fields. Some nests can also be seen in wetlands, which is the original habitat of the species. Usually the female lays two eggs. Rarely up to three eggs can be seen in one nest. Both male and female incubate the eggs. The incubation period is 26 to 35 days. The juveniles follow their parents from the day they hatch. Usually there is a gap 
of around 48 hours between the hatching of the first and the second egg. Both parents take part in raising the chicks. Soon after both the chicks have hatched, the parents take them into fields, away from nesting locations. The chicks will follow the parents and stay with them for the next 10 months or so. The parents keep the juveniles in tall paddy and grasses near the wetlands to protect them from predators. Slowly the head of the chick starts becoming bare and brown. The auricular patch and crown starts to become white and the body colour changes to grey from brown. In about 300 days the chick grows from barely a few centimetres in height to almost 4.5 to 5 feet tall. Initially the chicks are flightless. They grow flight feathers and start to fly at the age of three months. By the end of winter, around late February, the chicks become fully grown immature birds. During this time the families of Saurus cranes gather for the winter congregations. The immature juveniles become mature and start breeding at the age of five to six years. Until the juveniles attain full maturity and form pairs, they stay in groups. We monitor distribution and population of Saras crane in all over Kheda district. We do regularly field survey to monitor uh, uh, Saras crane activity. Uh, by covering all the three seasons from April 2015 to uh, 2018 year, uh, we documented more than above uh, 500 Saras crane in all our Kheda district. We observed uh, uh, 10 summer congregation sites, 7 winter congregation sites of Saras crane. We do awareness programs with school students and uh, community level also. We do more than 73 awareness program with school students and more than 36 community meetings with local villagers. We also form rural Saras protection groups. The whole idea is uh, community involvement in better Saras conservation. Community involvement can play an important and major role for species conservation. During the field visits and awareness programs, villagers from over 30 villages voluntarily came forward in the formation of rural Saras protection groups, comprising of 71 volunteers. The responsibilities the groups took on during the nesting season were protection of eggs and juveniles from poaching and predation. They also provided information about nesting locations, breeding pairs, congregation sites and injured birds. These groups are now being trained to provide first aid and handling an injured bird in the field before being sent to treatment centers. मुस्तियों पामेलु सारस पन जोआ माले तो यूपीएल टीम ने उन जान करुँ सु मारा स्कूल मा या मारा गांव ना युवानों ने क्या जागरूक थाय ते माटे नी पन माहिती हूँ कार्यलत करुँ सु हूँ छिल्ला त्राण वर्ष थी काम करुँ सु ना नव मारा नू रक्षण करी थे पन आता समय मा पन काम करतो रहे अत्यार सुधी माँ मैं भी घायल सारस जोया था अने याने बचाव माटे यूपीएल टीम ने जान कर ली हती अने बिजु के यूपी सारस ने नुकसान न पाते ते माटे खेडू तो ने खोटे मानसिकता दूर करुँ सु अने लोक जन जागरूति खेडू सु सारस माटे अने बिजु बो मोटी बात चे के माता तालु का मास सर्थी वधु सारस जो आ the future of the magnificent Indian Saras crane is closely tied to conserving the quality of small and large wetlands in India, which are an important resource for fresh water, and with the ever-changing monsoon patterns as an impact of global climate change, the future of mankind is also dependent on them. खेड़ा जिल्ला नो परियेजने आजीवाजीनो विस्तार छेद ते 
आखा गुजरात जो सारस पॉप्युलेसन है तीन बे तृत्यांश एट लगभग सासठ जग टका जी पॉप्युलेसन अँ सर्वाइव थाय सस्टेन थाय विस्तार सपोर्ट करे सारस ने रक्षण करव हो तो अँ सेंचुरी नहीं परंतु वन विभाग और लोक भागीदारी थी आक्षण शक्य है एना यूपीएल द्वारा सी एस आर अंतर्गत जो प्रोजेक्ट हाथ धरियों से तीन अंदर गामे गाम अवेरनेस कर सारस कंजर्वेशन सारस प्रोटेक्शन ग्रुप विलेज सारस प्रोटेक्शन ग्रुप की रचना कर एक सारी पहल कर दिवसे दिवसे सारा परिणामों मैया है सारसना जुवेनाइल बच्चा एना नेस्टन रक्षण पर सारी रीते थाय खरेखर यूपीएल जे आ कामगिरी है ये सराहनीय छे आशा राखूँ कि आना थी सारस है एनु सस्टेनेबल मैनेजमेंट आ रिसोर्सन सस्टेनेबल मैनेजमेंट थी सारस है भावी पेढ़ी ने जवाब सो आई लाइक टू कंक्लूड विथ थैंक्स टू द टीम टू ऋषि ऑल दी अदर पीपल इन्वॉल्व द टीम दैट हेज स्पेसिफिकली डन वर्क ऑन सारस एंड ऑल्सो आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर दैट यू पी एल शॉर्टली विल लाइक टू इम्बाक ऑन मोर वाइल्ड लाइफ रिलेटेड प्रोजेक्ट्स सो इफ एनी वन हैज एनी आइडियाज प्लीज अप्रोच अस वे वेरी वेरी कीन टू टेक आवर सी एस आर वर्क इन टू मोर ब्रॉडर एरियाज ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ प्लांट्स नेचर कंजर्वेशन विथ दैट थैंक यू हैव अ नाइस डे